Hello there, uh, this is a picture of a Pamnapat and it's in space and it's uh, ringed binaries which are the crocker guard at the end of the rainbow just beautiful, they are wonderful and this is right in the centre of the bubble and uh, in fact is hugely memorable for me because the faction I've most played with is quite close to here and uh, I, I, it would often be a place I'd find myself passing through on my way back home with some uh, illicit goods or a rare item of some sort. And I always love those twin planets with the rings. They are um, planets three and four. And they, they sort of almost touch somehow. If you drop into the ring of one, you've got in the full of your vision the other planet. It's just, they're just majestic. There's a tourist beacon. <laughs> which is smashing. A plan the bat's a massive system actually. It's got a, it's got a lot, a lot of landable places. I've not been there in a while. So I couldn't tell you whether there's any atmospherics there. I'm actually tempted to go back having drawn this picture because it, it's reawakened my desire to go and uh, go flip between those rings. Apparently um, in uh, Distant Worlds 2 is where they invented the ring slalom. But I, I suspect loads of commanders have been doing it all along. They, uh, basically, you've got to be in super cruise and you've got to nip between the interim gaps uh, whilst in super cruise without dropping. There's a commander, Commander Rebuy Soanti, who I uh, follow and uh, is well known for doing that. I, I love the photographs that he's put on the internet over the years. There's a bit of a schism going on because quite a lot of the commanders that I enjoy looking at uh, and that take photos are stepping back for a bit while they uh, take stock and decide what's going off for them because uh, quite a lot of people use a console, an Xbox or a PlayStation and uh, they've said they're not going to develop the game any further than they have on the consoles. So they're all sort of thinking, well, what you see is what you get. It's not getting any better. But annoyingly, they see that it, it could have been better because on PC you've got the expansion, which does add a lot to the game. But until May last year, you could have asked me if I wanted that, and I would have said, nah, I'm not bothered. I'm happy as I am. So a Pam the Pat is a, is a god in the real world. He's an ancient god in the various different Near Eastern ancient texts. So you've got like Hindu and Zoroastrian and all this sort of thing. Got a water. I've got a creation, I'm not sure. Which is appropriate for the system in game because it does have an Earth like planet with water on it. <laughs> and that planet's called Graham. Glass. As well as being some of the more pretty places in game, with all the pebbles floating in space, the, uh, the asteroid rings around planets, they're also quite useful places because um, the non player characters gather there to mine materials. Even if there's nothing of any value to a player miner, you'll often find NPC miners in the planetary rings and uh, they gather around and uh, and with them come the pirates that prey upon them and they're a convenient place often quite close to your home station where you can just hop in and do a little bit of bounty hunting kill those pirates that are causing the miners problems some of the resource extraction zones will have police in and the ones that don't have police in are, um, are often a little bit more rewarding it also used to be the case that that would be where you could mine rather better materials. But now, with the advent of the new scanning systems that you have on your ship, you can send probes into the planetary rings and they'll bring up glowing patches in your radar, which show you where the highest density of high-quality minerals are. Anyway, that, that's pretty much done now, apart from dotting the skies. Uh, so thank you to Commander Cabot for the picture. I really appreciate it, and it was fun to do. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>